President Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces. Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Margaret Kenyatta, Your Excellency, Deputy President William Ruto, and Madam, Your Excellency, Rachel Ruto, Mama Helen Kaiseri, Mukewa Bibi Rafkiangu, Jendro Kaiseri, Familia Yote Yamaha Community, Mona Sambaya Wat Wako Hapa, Nawale Wengine Wate, Shimayenu. Yani protocols have observed. Wale wanijui, darudia tena. Naitua Lieutenant Colonel Retired Francis Charles Mugambi. General Nkaiseri was my best friend. General Nkaiseri was my best man in my wedding when we were in the military. General Nkaiseri was my boss at the office of the president, Arambe House. Me and General Kaiseri, for 43 years, I think we have broken the record in the world. Your Excellency, Mama Kaiseri, Taongea, Machache, and Sister Soma, Nikona speech hapa, Dion Malise Haraka. Taomba wisdom, Namuskis and Yinyote, Kutoka Kwa Kiongozi Wainchi. His Excellency the President, ya kwamba, juusi tukiwa kanisani, Baptist Church, hapo Gong Road. His Excellency the President, alisema, kwa ken ngumu sana kusema nkaisiri, ameritaya. Na tena, akasema, ngumu sana yeye, kusema nkaisiri, ate ni meja jenru. I buy that wisdom, kama rafiki yake, na kwamba, General Nkaisere kama alikuwa minister wa, wa interior and coordination of national government. Yeye ni four-star general. Na akiwa four-star general, sisi kwa jeshi tunasema, generals do not die, they fade. And General Nkaisere has not died, he has faded away. Fading ni kusema ya kwamba, kama njini ya pana ona nkaiseri, hapa kajiadu. Labda mtuatafuta ye narok, mahali hapo, kwa hewa, au samburu, au laikipia, mutampata. That's how generals are. Ata general mulingi, did not die. Mukienda mutomo, labda kitui huko, au muende ukase, Mutapata jenu mulingi, because generals do not retire, and do not die. Turudi, nifubisha maneno, mimi na jenu mkaiseri, in 1973, two young gentlemen, tulikutana AFTC na kuru, mimi na ngaria mkaiseri, kwa macho, tall young man, slim, Macho yake ni Amorani kutoka Masailand. Nikapenda ye. Gaisere yaka niangalia. Macho, kijana, mwupe, tall, slim, hako na afro kutoka Meru. Haka nipenda. Vile tunasemanga na kimombo, mimi na jadurun Gaisere, it's love at first sight. <laughs> Wakatu niendelea na cadet training. Cadet training ni ngumu sana. It's the most hardest thing an officer can do. Tulikuwa na kimbia 10 kilometers kutoka FTC na kuru kwenda Dondori. Ndiyo, tulikuwa 90 
na tulimaliza 20. Sasa kwa hiyo mbio, Jerun Kaiseri ya nakimbia hako mbele. Mambe ya maradhoni ya Jerun Kaiseri ya jansa leo. Ni azamani. Mimi, najua huko kwetu watuna watu ya maradhoni. Mimi huko nyuma, na kuja pole pole, na because we are 90, tukiendelea hivo, mimi nitatolewa. Sasa Nkaiseri anaenda na simama. Aoni mimi, anakuja, anakamata mimi, na bie mimi, weka bidi, weka bidi. Because we are friends. Ataki mi inafukuswa, juu tulipendana. Anasukuma mimi, anasukuma mimi, anawacha mimi nimefika katikati ya iyo kama for, number 45 wapo. Na ukiwa number one, ukiwa number one, unaongezewa max ya kukualify. Ukiwa mwisho, tukirudi kwa kambi huko FTC, Hame kumare anasema, huya enda nyumbani. Sasa ngesira hakuwa, nataka mii naenda nyumbani. Tunaenda tena, naona mimi ni merudi nyuma tena kidogo kama number 50. Anasimama. Anarudi nyuma tena, anasukuma mimi tena, anabakia kitu kama number 30. Sasa hea nakimbia tena, unumutu wa marathon, anaongoza tena, jiapata ili max. Nikaenda, si kufukusua. Kaiseri ya kapata extra mark. Kufika, FTC, tukamaliza kadet, ame komanda alikuwa najua mimi na njerun Kaiseri, we are friends. Akatupeleka kikosi moja. One kia na njuki. Nani tunakuta? General Mohamed. Akiwa na chio hile niko nae saa hii alefena tukano. General Mohamed alikuwa najua mimi na njerun Kaiseri ni mapacha. Akatupeleka tena kamboni moja. Kamboni moja si company, mimi namba 8 platoon commander, nkaiseri namba 8 namba 9 na platoon commander. Following morning, kulikuwa kwa na vita ya Ugaden in Mandera. Jono Mohamed akasema wewe na wewe, wale wengine wakabaki kambi, wewe na nkaiseri mnaenda Mandera. Hata tunyakunywa chai ya barracks. Tukaingia ndege paka Mandera. Mimi, kaisere ndiyo huyo marikamari, top tip ya Ethiopia na, na Kenya. Mimi ndiyo huyo lemore na Eroba, karibu na Banisa, na mimi nae, na, na, na batoni yangu huko. Watu ya Somali walikuwa na cross, wanaenda wanapika watu yetu, wanauwa watu yetu, wanachukua ngamia. Wakienda Ethiopia. Watu ya Ethiopia wanakuja, wana cross border, ndiyo ya jaa, wanakuja tena, wanapika watu yetu, wanauwa, wanachukua ngamia. Tulipiga na huko mezi sita. Mimi na jandro nkaiseri. Tukarudi tukiwa hai. Mpaka na nyuki tena. Kutoka hapo ni promotion. Tukakua left hand, siku moja. Tukakua captain, siku moja. Tukakua major, siku moja. Tukakua left hand kano, siku moja. Isi maajabu. Tajaribu sana kupubisha lakini story yangu na nkaiseri inataka kitabu. Sasa, turudi hapa 1978. 1978, musiana yangu wakamaliza college. Huko meru, nikajua vijana huko, watanyanganya mimi, tukiwa mustuni. Sasa, nikasema, automatically, hakuna kutafuta best man. Jeno nkaisele, too obvious. Mimi nikaenda meru, tukachukua musiana, kaleta one care, kamaliza na na. Mshana yangu nikawa, nikaweka. Tukaenda musuni. Vijana ndi ondenja meru. Kamu 1981. 1981 nikuwa langata barracks. Nikuwa, kaisera likuwa mewatia mimi kekosi ya big company. Uyu Helen alikuwa naenda University of Nairobi, hapa Udili. Inaizwa Kenya School of Law. Naya kamaliza. Musana kamaliza huyu ndito. Kumaliza, kaizeda akazama, Nairobi, sio vijana peke yake, hata waze. Akakimbi araka, tukafanya arusi, nikiwa huko, tena ye, yeah, alikuwa najua mugambi tundi yo best man. Lakini kamambia mi nataka kuwa more than best man. Because wamasai, wameasa kuja three days. Kabila, siku hiyo. 
Namu naona wanakuja hapa. Wakakuja. Mimi nilikuwa na nyumba huko barracks. Wakakuja wakajaa barracks. Mwasai kutoka kajiadu. Wakajaa kwangu. Tukafanya rusi ya mama Helen. Na ye, tukawakolea ye ya nyanganywa na awa wanaume. Sasa, wacha niruke 13 years. 1994. Unasikia sasa 1991? 1994. Tulikuwa tumesomesha jeshi, mambe ya security, mambe intelligence, nilikuwa commander ya school of military intelligence in Kenya. Jeno Nkaisiri alikuwa na soma intelligence kwa state house. Sasa mimi alikuwa na kuja jioni, mina mwonyesha kidogo, na namupea vitabu, anarudi state house. Because nilafiki yangu, na ya kuja shule, because masome yake likuwa tofauti. Lakini lazima asome hiyo yangu. Sasa mimi wakati nitosheka, nimesoma, nimesomesha, jeshi mzima, na saa kusema kwa nini likuwa nafanya kasi ya intelligence, nitaruli nyuma na staki. Sasa, mimi nikasema, wacha nijaribu, mambo kwa raia, Jura ya wako na problem ya security. My vision for citizen participation in security was in 1994. Hiyo naona anaitwa nyumba kumi. Basi, mimi nikaenda kwenda kwa na mimi ya nyumba yangu nikaingia nikamwambia unajua mimi naenda. Jenderu Kaiseri alikasirika ile ujai ona. Hiyo ndio siku in 43 years Jenderu Kaiseri amekasirika na mimi. Mimi sasa ikasirika na yeye. <laughs> Anakamata mimi shingo, anakamata mimi kichwa. Mimi nikajua hii mtu ataniua. Unajua Masai. <laughs> Masai wakiua ngombe, wanakamata wana shingo na, na pembe. <laughs> nikajua hii mtu ataniua. Huyu mama huyu kwa mlango wa nyumba yao. Alimwambia ni nini unafanya FC? Wachana na FC. Akuzikia sauti ya mwanamke akaniwacha. Nafikiri wa Masai mnaheshimu mnaheshimu wanawake sana. Basi mimi nikaenda. Nikaungana huko, nikaanza mambo ya community policing. 23 years akina Kimemia tuko na wao, akina Deputy PS Osia, tukaenda tukaandika policy ya community policy. Ile which was my vision. Tukafanya, tukamaliza. Sasa mimi na Kaisere tunaonana tu akiwa jeshi. Tunaonana, tunaonana. Lakini sasa kipingilia sana juu mimi wanaweza sema mimi nataka kumwaribu mjua siasa. Kaiseri naye in 1902 the same vision akatoka akauliza katoka tulikuja hapa kwa launch yeye. Aliniambia ni shule lakini mimi siko na ikiwa shule. Niliona kama hapa. <laughs> President Moi alikuwa hapa tu tuka launch yeye akaingia siasa akashinda Aka first term, second term, third term. Let's go to 2014. 2014. Raisi, Raisi Kenyatta, Uru Kenyatta, I'm a member cabinet secretary. Tuko pamoja. Every time waki wa MP, tuko pamoja. Tuaki wapi, tuko pamoja. Akampea. Mi tuko na ewa kati anapewa. Asa kaniambia, wewe, kano, utakuwa pie yangu. Kamambia, unataka niwe pie, ndiyo. Na public service ya ikubali mtu over 60. Kasema, ay, na nikweli. Kamambia, siwezi, ningependa, lakini, over 60 mimi, hiko, mina wewe ni waze. Lakini, wame pewa point mwete na president, hakuna mtu nauliza wewe. Kaniambia, basi, utakuwa private, private assistant. Mimi nika kubali kuwa private assistant. <laughs> Kam, hapo President Kenyatta, uh, Uru Kenyatta alikuwa mesema, kila mwanainchi wa Kenya, anakaa Kenya, madaraka day in 2013, atahimiza community policing, usalama, iwe ni wanainchi. Ni kweli orongo? Kazema hiyo, kila mwanainchi in Kenya, community policing. Na kila mwanainchi ahizimize, Citizen participation in security. Nyumba kumi. Sasa nkaisere, President ya kamupea amuri ya kamupea. Sasa, 
ile mulitengeneza hapo mbele 2014 hapo mbele hiyo hiyo ni 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 road map niliambia ule lenku akatengeneza road map sasa wewe nataka utengeneze hiyo kamati sasa sawa then ongezira kaambia president sawa kanaambia mgambi wewe nataka wewe because wewe ni security consultant uingie hiyo kamati na wengine 12 na chairman tukaingia citizen participation security sasa akaniambia unaona sasa juu umeingia kwa serikali sitakuwa navunja amri wewe ni private assistant wewe ni strategic security officer yangu na sasa wewe utakuwa nakaa na mimi na security detail si ni sawa sawa nikamwambia ndio sawa sawa fundi mimi nimetrainiwa mambo hata bunduki kaendelea kaendelea every day every day every day kasi yake alikuwa anamalizia tukiwa pamoja jioni njoo mchana huko Harambee house ni wananchi ni kazi ya serikali njoo ingine lakini hapa usiku tuko kwa lounge sisi wawili miaka hiyo yote hakuna mtu ameingia hiyo room tuko kaisera anamaliza kazi sasa kusema hata alikuwa anaongea na nani lakini mimi nilikuwa najua anaongea na nani na anafanya nini every county commissioner lazima apate simu ya kaisera usiku tukimaliza akae anaenda kuna news nyumbani saa 3 mimi news nyumbani saa 3 Now siku hiyo tarehe saba. tuko pamoja mimi nakunywa chai yeye nakunywa anakunywa ngabia nakunywa bia moja na hii bia nkaisere yeye hapa anafunguliwa na mtu yeye na kifuniko yake anafungua mimi hata mimi simfunguli si hakuna waita namfungulia na alikuwa na furaha anaenda following day arambe kajado akaniambia sande juu bomasi inafungwa sasa utakuja klabu yako nikama nikaenda nikatengeneza klabu yangu ikakuwa mzuri nikasema general akija hapa tutakuwa na kana hapa nikatafuta tv kaambia msichana yangu tafute mi tv iko na digital <laughs> general kaambia anaenda kai chano anatoka hii chano anaenda chano anaenda hii chano anaenda chano sasa mimi lazima nikasema ile ya club inaoparitiwa kwa counter haitawezekana kaambia msichana yangu niletee mi tv yako tuweke hapa siku hiyo usiku kwa tun... nine yeye yeah, naenda mimi naenda mimi napata saa sita na saa saba simu kutoka kwa security detail yetu afande ongea na sergeant mutea mutea ni wa kwetu nyumbani ni mumeru lakini huyu mwingine fikiri ni masai angeweza kuniambia na kimasai hasa mutea akaniambia Afande mtu haraka mtu haraka means come quickly mtu haraka ina abole kauliza hivyo mko wapi kasema tuko Karen ai nikajua yule mzee amegonjeka kachukua gari kamsa mbibi yangu nikamwambia mimi naenda jero nkaseni hapana iko sawa Karen hospital sasa hiyo mimi nikienda nafikiria nitampeleka Nairobi hospital because alikuwa anapenda Nairobi hospital sana lakini sijui daktari yake sasa mimi nimpanga daktari wangu niite mmoja atungoje because this is my friend the best friend i've ever had for 43 years mimi nikaenda with a lot of courage nitamweka kwa gari yangu twende kwenda mimi nakuta madam helen analalia huyu mzee hapa ala mimi namwambia mimi nauliza daktari iko namna gani anasema ayuko namwambia it's unbelievable mimi ni mieta siku kukubali hata huyu mama niongereshe mimi nauliza nkaisede kifua aipigi na iko baridi kidogo ai hata mimi nikakubali hii mambo ni mbaya sasa kichwa yangu kanaambia whom do i tell huyu ni property ya serikali whom do i tell president of the republic of kenya ndio number one kaenda kwa simu mimi sina namba ya president kaisera alikuwa naye na mimi naona anaongea na yeye lakini siku muuliza lete namba because uwezi kumuuliza lete namba ya president <laughs> ata ya ig ako naye hakuna namba ana lakini mimi simuulizi because mimi nilikuwa security kaenda nikaona iko ofisa yangu moja ni train intelligence na huyu ataniitika nikampigia na najua atafikisha message 
nikampigia mkubwa kamwambia sa jeno kesera yuko na ningependa hii report in confidence ifikie president aliniambia namwambia tafadhali akaniambia kano mugambi hii report itakwenda saa nane ya usiku mimi nikaenda nikakaa chini siku maliza dakika tano nikaona IG IG and his two deputies wakakuja sasa nikasema basi mimi na handover property ya wenyewe IG nikamwambia ndio huyu nikapeana briefing ndio na kitu ilifanyika mama Helen niko wako na watoto wako tukachukua mwili ya Jenu Kaisiri tukapeleka ndii funeral iko kitu kingine urafiki naweza kufanywa kuliko hiyo si ni sawa Mungu amweke malipo peponi asanteni